There is something so comforting and so sexy about chocolate. Now, we all know you can add chocolate to just about any dish on any menu and make it a superstar. So today, we're gonna teach you how to put it in a drink and give it just the same flair. So very easy to make. We just use equal parts of Cointreau and Bailey's Irish Cream. Go ahead and fill it to mm, a little less than halfway of Cointreau. And for those who've never had Cointreau, it's, you know, it's a very spicy, it's a strong orange flavored liqueur that goes great with anything milky, coffee-ish. And today I'm using for that part of the recipe, a Bailey's Irish cream. So go ahead and fill that up the rest of the way. I like mine a little heavy on the Irish cream, so I'm gonna fill it to there. We're just gonna grate a little bit of dark chocolate, like I said. This chocolate will melt into the Bailey's Irish Cream and Cointreau and give it that really sweet, delicious, decadent sensuality I was talking about earlier. I like to garnish everything, so that's why I'm putting a little bit of chocolate over everything else. Go ahead and add some bars so your guests can sip and nibble all at the same time. And here you go for a wonderful, intimate evening, the Cointreau Caress. Welcome everyone, welcome to A Pint A Day. I'm your host, Jen. And today, we are gonna make you some good old fashioned chicken. And I know that there are a lot of different ways to make chicken, but today we're gonna make you airline chicken. I know you think airline chicken and you immediately imagine dry, nasty, overcooked, mess of white, rubbery, something they put in a plastic, whatever, and they give it to you on the plane. Exactly. We aren't gonna do no, that, No, we're not gonna do that, no, not at all. Not so tell me again, tell us what airline chicken really is. Airline chicken is the cut of chicken. So it's the breast with the wing attached to it. Like that little thing. So, Wait. Yeah, the wing. Yeah, airline um, chicken. Airline chicken. We're gonna serve that today with a butternut squash puree. Ooh. And a nice. Grand Marnier Clementine <gasps> chutney. So, okay. Let's get started on that, yes, shall we? Yes, let's get okay. started. Hey guys. Butternut squash. Hey! What's going on? Hey, you. Yeah. Hi, hey there. How are you? How are you? Good to see Good. you. Good. What's going on? I did on? tell you she was coming, right? Yeah. Okay. Everyone, <laughs> this is our very special friend, um, artist, vocalist, Treasure Davis. She is here to help us cook this awesome um, airline chicken. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're going to be feeding you, so I hope you brought that. Okay, I All brought right. a little bit of an appetite. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> out. So we've okay. cut our squash. Um, just so you know, we're making a chicken breast. Okay. okay. Airline chicken breast. Okay. With a butternut squash puree. Oh, okay. And a clementine Grand Marnier chutney. Oh, Grand Marnier, okay. So we preheated <laughs> we pre our oven to 450 degrees. Mm. Okay. okay. We cut our squash in half. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to put a little oil yeah. on the sheet tray. A little extra version, okay. Then we're going to place our squash flesh side uh, down. Yeah. Okay. Pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until fork tender. Beautiful. Thank you for coming to the show. Gracias. All of you. All five of you. <laughs> okay. How was how was your time today? So you had some dinner? Drama. Yeah? That's beautiful. Anything in the meal? I looked at the meal. Now I looked at the meal and it had everything I liked in it. You know, they had this one ingredient, I like to call it a lot of cal calories. <laughs> you know, I was really into that. <laughs> Do, do you guys remember when um, everyone w woke up suddenly and no one could eat gluten anymore? <laughs> <laughs> that was a sad day. <laughs> we breathe LA pollution, okay? Yeah. We're in a drought and it's bread that's gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of us, just white people. <laughs> Apparently, white people are still evolving. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
you know, one day they can't eat dairy, one day they can't eat meat, one day they can't eat gluten. I'm like, make up your mind. <laughs> I'm tired of the menus changing. <laughs> I feel like one day all the hip areas, hip neighborhoods will be regentrified by all the immigrants who are able to eat bread. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes I, I sit by myself at a restaurant, you know, and just I like to listen in on the conversations happening next to me, you know, when I'm eating by myself, just in case someone's like, I don't want my buns so that I can be like, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was hard, you know, to get a piece of bread around when I was a kid. People were always like, oh, it must have been so hard. It must have been so hard living in Japan. I'm like, yeah, I was living in Japan. First world country. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> racist bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what else was I going to say? Oh, <laughs> have you tried nori? You know, people asking me things that I've eaten all my life. Have you ever had Japanese seaweed? Have you ever had nori? You know? I just tried it for the first time. Have you tried nori before? Have you ever had it? I'm like, yes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get rolled up in it and tucked into bed. <laughs> <laughs> and when we got hungry late at night, I would just chew on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We couldn't eat late at night. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat it at this right. point. I've never cooked. We've got our, we can take our pan as always. What are we doing yet? We heat it up. Very nice good. Hot. Finally, you got it. Okay, okay, great. This is our airline breast. Yes. Okay. Um, as you can see, the wing is attached. Okay. okay. And we are going to. And the skin is so on. The skin is on. That's yeah. the important part about it. Okay. You know, we like all that greasy. All and we wanted to get crunchy and crispy <laughs> season. Okay. Our chicken. Okay. I just have salt. Okay. Ooh. So you know it's hot when you hear that. Yeah. 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 You know it's hot. There you go. Immediately. So <laughs> you, you, you want to get the pan really hot for a couple reasons. One, it helps crisp up the, the chicken, for mm -hmm. one. And it, you hear always hear about the, the thing, you sealing in the flavor. So that's what we're doing. We're sealing okay. in the flavor. Sealing okay? in the flavor. Okay. And the reason why I didn't add pepper in the, initially is because a lot of times if you heat pepper up too much, it gets bitter. Okay. Uh, so okay. a lot of people don't know that. So but it's that better is to add it. If you're going to add pepper, add it at the end. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Not enough. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get the skin crispy okay. about three to four minutes on each side. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to take the chicken breast and pop it in the oven okay. for about 15 minutes. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, during break, I completely devoured the airline chicken. I'm not gonna lie, it's in my tummy, it's feeling good, and I'm feeling good. So, let's bring you back to this part of the show because there's some things we need to talk about. And this is a very, very dear friend of mine. She co wrote Secret Enemy, That's right. Foreigner, If This Ain't Love, and so many other songs that I've, I've had the pleasure to work with you on. Yeah. I haven't seen you forever. I know, it's been some time, but yeah, it's good. Girl. I'm, I'm so happy to be here at Pint. This is such a dope experience. Yeah, tell, Thanks for having tell me. me. Tell me what's been going on with your life. Tell me what's going on now. Oh, God. Um, well, I just released a project. Yeah, um, I heard of it. on iTunes. Yes. Entitled Heart Flavored Summer. Um, and we accompanied that with two music videos, uh, one for the single called The One. The One. And the other is uh, Heart Flavored Sucker featuring Luke Christopher. Um, yeah. Aside from that, I also um, hopped on another one of Luke's records called They Know, which is really dope too, and that's out everywhere. You gotta go um, find it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go find it. Yeah, go find it. <laughs> um, just been working consistently, writing, trying to finish off the rest of the album, and you know, make sure that all of the visual concepts work together as well. It's kind of a big Now, I heard you have me. another single coming out really soon. Well, Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, you know, well, I'm hoping to release another single sometime at the top of the year mm -hmm. and have just really kind of been thinking of which one of the songs that I've recorded would be really dope to release it's in the meantime. It's hard picking yeah. a favorite child. Yeah. And I mean, like, uh, I guess from personal experience, I mean, being able to write a song, record it, and seeing it to its final 
steps is like, you know, like yeah. giving birth to a child, seeing it grow it and is. evolve. It is. It's like your little baby. So yeah. you want to make sure that it's right. You want to make sure that all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted. You know that. Yeah. Yourself, so. And, you know, uh, are you planning any tours? Are you going to be able to catch you well, live in concert, Miss Davis? What's going on? Well, uh, for the moment, as I'm still writing and recording locally, I'm mm -hmm. probably just going to be doing like little shows here and there around town as I'm preparing to like, you know, figure out what the the grander or the more mobile tour uh, idea will be. Yeah. And then do like with the with the album that you're about to release, mm -hmm. is it um, anything different from your EP? Because I know your EP was it was four songs. Four songs. So I know like you know you, the album you're planning is much more fuller yeah. project of work. Much more colors. I feel like um, the EP and the songs that we released thus far, the music videos, were kind of like an introduction. It was my first time really stepping out as an artist on my own and yeah. really kind of understanding what it means mm -hmm. to like, oh shit, I got a music video out. Like, that's really dark. Yeah. Like, so and you ready. look amazing. Yeah. You oh, look thank amazing. You. <laughs> thank you. Um, and if you could describe to the audience a few words, what the core and the heart of this project is about, what it would be. Um, What's your message? What, is this, what are you trying to say? You know what I mean? Really what it is, is it's kind of a growth into empowerment. Yes. Like, hey, we're all back. Yeah, I feel like, you know, especially ladies and even guys mm -hmm. go through it, but we, we all fuck up, you know, and make mistakes, whether it be in relationship. Okay. <laughs> Well, I have. Um, <laughs> um, and so it's really just been like the growing process of that coming from, you know, more of a, a lesser understanding and learning what it means to like fully embrace and be in your skin and kind of take charge of that. Like just growing through that. That's nice. Yeah. That's hey, that's empowerment. And yeah. I can't wait to see you in concert. Please tell our audience where they can find you. Um, email, well, maybe not email, Thank phone you. number, <laughs> your address. Okay. No, look, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, concert dates, where do we find you? How do we find you? Um, you can stay in touch with me on Facebook. My name is Treasure Davis on Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, all of the above. Treasure Davis should spell just as it is. Um, come check me out. Stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be a lot more active in, in posting yes. new show, um, show dates and, and things of the nature. So make sure you follow me. Treasure yeah. Davis, Heart Flavor Summer, folks. Find it. Yeah. And this is Planet Day, so we cannot wrap nothing and start nothing without a drink. So Here we go. Ching, ching. Cheers. <laughs>
hot dog guy. <laughs> Profound. <laughs> yeah, he's the Japanese guy who ate 50 hot dogs yeah. in 12 minutes. Yeah. With buns, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. So this guy flew in from Japan, landed in New York, went to the Coney Island National Hot Dog Eating Contest, and beat the number one champion of every year. Yeah, mm -hmm. sucked down those 50 hot dogs. <laughs> when that happened on national TV, I was like, <laughs> that's just great. <laughs> that's just what I need. Another thing people are gonna talk to me about. <laughs> <laughs> Eating? Do you know every time a Japanese person is about to do something weird, I'm like, stop, you're about to be a burden to me. <laughs> <laughs> Eating? I want to eat for a living, but I have to fit into shit like this. <laughs> Go get a job. Because <laughs> people never talk to me about the respectable things Japan is known for, you know? Like how clean the country is or how people are always on time to their jobs. No, it's always like, hey, um, you guys have really weird porn. <laughs> <laughs> this guy the other day was like, dude, I saw this Japanese porn where an octopus fucks a girl's vaginas with its tentacles. <laughs> what's up with that? Huh? Vaginas, what's up with that? That's fucking sick, she had three. What's up with that, huh? That's so fucking sick, Japanese porn. And I was like, I don't know, you watched it. <laughs> so uh, you guys might not know me from TV or anything. Because I know in LA, I'm fairly unrecognizable. But in Japan, I'm totally unrecognizable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to Japan, uh, you know, with my boyfriend in like two weeks, actually. And uh, I told him if he ever upset me and I didn't want to get found, I could just walk into a crowd <laughs> and he'd never find me. <laughs> Good luck with that white boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find the shit out of you. <laughs> Six feet tall, handsome man. Yeah. So uh, even though I know already, I'm going to ask this. Any couples in the crowd here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Ooh. It's hard to guess. There's you know, <laughs> so many people up in here. There's a possibility of two couple combinations <laughs> and one fifth wheeler. Is that what they call it? <laughs> the, what is it? The third wheel and then the fifth wheel, right? Yeah, fifth wheeler. I'm not going to assume anything, you know? <laughs> two of you look like you could be related. Two of you look like you could be friends. One of you looks like a grip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll end with this, you know. So I have a white boyfriend, and the Asian community isn't very happy about it. Because I feel like every time an Asian girl dates a white guy, the bamboo tree silently falls <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> so sad. Damn it, another one. Thank you very much. My name is Otsuko Katsuka for Pint Magazine. So we got the squash and the chicken in the oven. Yeah. Okay. Prior to that, we're going to make a little salad of baby arugula with the Riesling citronette. About a tablespoon of mustard. Okay. Then mustard. The, we have here the, sorry, mm -hmm. the citrus juice of lemon, lime, and orange, mm. and the Riesling. Okay. We add this in. Yep. And then, then the oil. We're using grapeseed oil. Did you want to do that, Miss Davis? I'm like, what is in my hand? And then we're going to pulse that just to emulsify everything. We have our, our citronette, the baby arugula, and if you want to just make it, like I said, a little sexier, nice. there you go. Yeah. We're dressing. This is our, our finished squash. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's all nice and soft and buttery. I know. My little cape. 
and then you know just you can just slice it that way. And okay. do you eat the rind, or is that something that you sort of no? Want you to don't want to eat the rind, especially not with I didn't this. Know that. So again, let's yeah. place this in our food processor. In our food processor. Let me get all the pulp out for you. Try to get as much pulp out as you can. We're gonna place the pulp of the squash in the food processor okay. with about a few tablespoons of butter, butter, a little salt. Oh, here, let me hit this baby with We're some salt. We're gonna process that till it's nice and smooth. Right. Beautiful squash that puree. Baby. Okay. Sure. This is our chutney that we made earlier. Okay. Yes. It has the, the clementines, the Grand Marnier. Try one. The sage in the top. Oh my god. Okay. Um, oh my god. It's like candy. This is exactly what I was wearing. So, and then we're going to place our squash puree right in the middle. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like so. Yeah. Oh, so that is yummy. A little more chutney on top. And then put more Grand Marnier in there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. This, <laughs> how could, how you, could you, you forget how that? How did you forget it? What show is this? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and then just a little sprinkle of Grand Marnier on the yeah. top. Nice and then sprinkle. we can't let Treasure leave without giving her a little. Classic round on you, right? Oh, hey. I'll have a taste. Enjoy. There you go. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy with your salad or Cheers. with the chicken. Cheers. Sorry, and no more for you. <sighs> Just down it. Tell me, like tell everybody me. else does. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> girl, all right. That puts me on your chest. Oh, yes, <laughs> that's what we want. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, everybody, I hope you are hungry because we are starving and I am ready to destroy this chicken. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to come back next time when we have all oh, so much more great food and great drinks and wonderful guests coming to visit us. Thank this is Planet Day. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Mm -hmm.